Welcome back to your Acts Ministry Podcast. And as we continue to walk through the Bible, studying uh, the word immediately, just talked about on yesterday how when the Lord spoke, the man that was a paralytic, he was able to get up immediately. God's ability to do it now. And we have to have faith in that. We have to have faith that God can do it now. He can do it now. Faith that he can do it now. And, and, and what will really help our faith in believing that God can do it now is to understand that he has already done it. God is not trying to make a decision. The Bible says that by his stripes we were healed. That's already done. Healing physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all that is done. He fulfilled all that on, on the cross of Calvary. Now, now watch this, because the Bible says this chastisement of our peace was upon him. That's our emotional, that's healing for the soul. So the healing for the spirit and the soul and the body was all taken care of in Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. The crucifixion. He was beaten so we could have peace, we could have comfort, and we could be healed physically, mentally, uh, spiritually, and in every way. The next time, next time is mentioned, next time is mentioned in, in, is in Mark chapter 4, and Jesus is talking to a great multitude and he, he he's explaining this this incredible parable of the sore which is which is so important that uh he referenced this parable as the one that we needed to understand in order to understand all parables but in mark chapter 4 first six verses and again jesus began to teach by the sea and a great multitude was gathered to him so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea. And the whole multitude was on the land facing the sea. Then Jesus taught them many things by parables and said to them in his teaching, Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow, and it happened as he sowed that some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground, where it did not have much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. Now, this is talking about the sore, and, and basically what this is, uh, is the parable that Jesus is teaching. And the sower here represents a farmer, a farmer. We know in the parable it is, is talking about uh, this farmer that goes out and spiritually is talking about uh, the word of God. But he, he's talking to these people and he's teaching them that when a farmer goes out and he, th he sows seed, there is some seed that fell on stony ground. And he said it didn't have much earth, and immediately it sprang up because there's no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched because there's no root in it, and it withered. So what he's saying is this is a particular uh, person. This is a, a person who, who doesn't have the depth that they need to be effective. Now, I want you to hear me real good because we're talking about it. They come up immediately. See, immediately it come up. Now, we're not talking about immediate healing. We're not talking about immediate deliverance. And, and, and we could be. So when we look at this, the thing that, that jumps out at us is, are we able to handle the immediate? Now, you got to think about that. Are we able to handle the immediate? Because there are some things can, that can ha happen to us. And, and we studied that about Jesus instantly. His fame. He, his fame spread. Remember the Bible says when David, uh, after killing Goliath, they were singing his song. And not just singing his song. The Bible says that his name was in everybody's mouth. David's name was in everybody's mouth. Now, so everybody is singing your song 
can can we can we handle that? Is that something that we can handle? So he's talking about a particular person who receives the word, and we see this all the time. People come in, they receive the Lord Jesus Christ, feel the power of God for the first time, and they rejoice. But because they have no depth, because they will not be, they will not be taught. They will not be taught. They will not discipline themselves to be taught. They will not come to Christian education, Bible class, or the preach word. They will not be taught. And because of that, they have no depth. In other words, they're not deep enough to handle the immediate. I want you to hear that. They're not prepared to handle the immediate. They're not, they're not prepared to, to shoot forth an environment that they don't have any root. They don't have any substance of God's word. That's why you must love the word of God. You must be a connoisseur of God's word. The Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So we have to be prepared, prepared, really, really prepared for the immediate. Now we're talking about immediate. Now we're talking about the preparation for it because it takes depth. It takes being prepared. And nobody grows, nobody grows immediately. No one. Your child don't, the child is not born today and, and he's immediately an adult. He's not. No, there, there's a process. There's a process. And when we go through that process, then we got deep enough roots to be able to handle what the Lord is wanting to do in our lives. Now, this is, this is the parable, and he tells this parable, but Jesus, he comes back and they ask him to explain it. So when they ask him to explain it, uh, he explains what this means. Uh, this, this, this seed that is sown on stony ground and comes up immediately, but the sun, it scorches it, and it had, because it has no root. Now, a few verses in, in Mark chapter 4, uh, verse 16, a few verses later, the apostles didn't understand, and they wanted the Lord Jesus to explain it to them. And he does this in Mark four sixteen and seventeen. He says, "These likewise are the son are the ones sown on stony ground, who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and they have no root in themselves, and so endure only for a time. Afterward, when tribulation or persecution arises." For the word's sake, immediately they stumble. Now, that is so powerful. And thank God for his word. And he says, because you, they don't have any depth. They didn't get teaching. They resisted teaching. They, was, they just had emotions. They were so excited, and we should be excited. But in the midst of our excitement, we have to hear what God's word says. We have to eat the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God, we have to eat the word of God to live. So he, he says here that this is a believer and this is a believer. They receive it and with gladness and but over a period of time because they didn't get the word deep in them, the word of God to stabilize them. They're not on, on, on stable ground. And because of that, they only endure for a time. For a time. For a short period of time. And then it says when tribulation comes, for the word's sake. Now, so it's coming because of what you believe, but not you, you just can't believe it. you got to know why you believe it and how to defend it. you got to know uh, this is what we believe and this is why we believe it. You hear what I'm telling you? This is why it's so important to know why you believe. Peter said we should be able to give anyone an answer for the hope that is within us. We should be able to tell people why we believe what we believe. should be able to tell them that. We should be able to tell them why we believe that. So it, it says that this person is not able to do that. They have no root in themselves. Now, now watch that. They have no root in themselves. This is something that you have to do. You have to get enough word. You have to go deep 
into the word where you got good root because the wind is going to come. And when the wind comes, it's going to blow and blow and blow. And if there's no root, you're going to get plucked up. Yeah, all that excitement, all that emotions, and all that all that jumping. But if you don't have any word, you're going to get plucked up. And then it says when this happens, notice this. Immediately they stumble. Immediately. They can't take the persecution. The Bible talks about them being offended. They're offended. They're offended. And they leave Christ. And they leave Christ because they really never got a chance to know him. We get to know him through his word. What his word has said to us. What his word has declared unto us. That's how we get to know Christ. And here this group of people uh, that were just running off of gladness. Running off of emotions. Running off of feelings. That's, that's, that's feelings and, and, and emotions. And the Bible says that, that when, when trouble comes, and brothers and sisters, trouble is going to come. The Bible is clear about that. Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. That's for everybody. Everybody. But when you're born again, it's coming. Trouble is going to come. And what, what a lie that the devil has uh, instilled in some people. Have caused some people to believe that once you uh, get involved with Jesus, once you accept the Lord as your Savior, then all your troubles are over. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Not your trouble is going to be over, but the Lord will be with you in the midst of trouble. Trouble is for everybody. You know, we just get paid for our trouble. But trouble is for everyone that lives on the planet. So they were wa walking after just gladness, and, and, and that is they were living, living on their emotions, on their emotions, on their feelings, and that's not going to work. That is not going to work. Your feelings and your emotions will run out, and you need the deep root, and we can all have those roots by applying the word of God, hearing the word of God, and we have to be taught, and we live in a generation now that is against teaching. There's a generation that believes that it knows everything. And anytime you believe you know everything, you have set yourself up for failure.